Hello, Botanical Medicine Club. This is Ebony, a Botanical Medicine Club president, and I am here to present you with a shopping list for Fire Cider 2020. Let's get started. So the first item that we're gonna need is uh, Armoracea rusticana or horseradish, as well as Allium sepa or onion, a nice yellow onion is good, white onion if you prefer, Allium sativum or garlic, and good old fashioned zinzibra root. These four items, I cannot tell you exact amount of how to get because this is an old folk recipe, but you do want enough to be able to fill up whatever container that you use with equal amount of these four items. So I'm going to be making two 16 ounce jars of fire cider. I'm going to make enough to last me through the winter. Um, I will recommend doing a minimum of 16 ounces, uh, but it's up to you. You can do you want to do something like this go for it <laughs> um, <laughs> you want to make a batch for everybody in your neighborhood more power to you but essentially you just need a container um you just need enough that's going to fill up whatever container you use and for equal parts i do recommend sprouts grocery store to get these items just because that's the only place that i've found that sells horseradish additions to the fire cider um, our, oh wait, before I talk about the additions, we gotta talk about what brings the fire. We need some cayenne pepper. Some people like to put some fresh jalapeno, go for it. And then for our menstruum, we are using apple cider vinegar. We wanna do the raw, unfiltered apple cider vinegar, preferably organic. And we're gonna be adding some salvia rosemarinus or rosemary. We're going to add some thymus vulgaris or thyme. We're going to add some oregano vulgare or oregano. And we're adding these items in our fire cider this year because, you know, as naturopathic students, we know that they're not only antimicrobial, we know what organ system they have an affinity for. And that's one of the systems that we're doing some major support. We are also adding some Cygium aromatica or some clove. Put that nice and close up for you to see. Uh, clove is pretty strong, so we're only going to use about three cloves per container uh, that you use. And then also we're going to be using cinnamon, some nice cinnamon sticks. So that's everything that we're adding in our brew. And after it's been macerating for a few weeks, we strain it off and then we add honey. So if you have local honey, that's good. We want to do something that's raw. Uh, this is what I'm using. Um, it's a really good brand. Uh, that's it. So that's our shopping list for Fire Cider 2020. I'm very excited to hear how this experience, experience goes for you, as well as how it turned out. Uh, can't wait to talk to you more.